So who we have in here? Check is not one. Live chat is not one. You guys can drop comments. Your live chat is not you're not able to comment or close it out or refresh it. And you should be able to um, put any comments or questions in the chat. You guys see the title? Cash is changing. Baltimore Merlin under the heavyweight. I'm looking to get him on in a hot second. Got two people in. Now make sure I hit that like button. Um, like I said, live live chat is on. You guys should be able to, you know, like I said, drop your comments and your questions. There he is, right there. We're about to get this show on the road. Here we go. All right. BCMikeTV.com, right here with undefeated heavyweight from Baltimore, Maryland, Cassius Cheney. What's up, Cassius? How you? Hey, what's up, DC? How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good, man. Just trying to stay out the way, trying to stay safe. How how was uh, everything been? You know, I haven't seen you in a couple years. How's everything been? You know, since COVID, and you know, how's how's the family been? How's your holidays been? Uh, holidays were good. Uh. A lot, you know, um, you know, just trying to just get back into my flow of things and, uh, you know, staying positive is help, you know, and, and healthy, of course, you know, just mm-hmm. staying focused and just getting ready for uh, Thursday. Yeah, definitely. Yep, yep. You got a big fight coming up this Thursday um, against George Arias. It's on the Triller Card Fight Club. Uh, you're undefeated. George Arias is undefeated. I believe he's like the number one uh, heavyweight in his country, which is the Dominican Republic. Um, you're the headliner for this event against George Arias. Um, you know, what do you know about him, and does he pose a threat? Uh, I think he poses. Uh, you know, he's talented. You know, so I guess you know he's he has he poses a threat there. You know what I mean? He has to try to make me fight his fight. Um. <laughs> You know, I think he has to take more chances than I do as well. But if I'm able to so use my attributes, you know, be physical, um, you know, you know, he's tricky. You know what I mean? You don't know if he's going to try to do the whole Mike Tyson thing or if he's mm-hmm. going to try to box. You know what I mean? He, he, you know, he, yeah. he stylistically, you know, he's like that. But, you know, just for me, just being smart, using my length, stand tall, and, um, you know, throwing combinations, you know what I mean? Of course, using my jab and working off of it. But I think that um, just being physical with him, you know, especially inside, I think that uh, we'll, 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 be, we'll come out with the victory. Yeah, definitely. Now, you still up there with uh, Coach Calvin and Kenny? Nah, nah, nah. I, I train in Philly now, you know. Last okay. year before COVID, I mean, before COVID really hit, I was training in Miami for a year, and um, that was just tough, man. It was just like, not just the training, but just the environment, you know, living in a gym, yeah. you know, living uh, with seven other guys from different countries, you know, it was, it was, it was different, you know what I mean? I was, I was the biggest guy in the gym, and, uh, you know, it was good, you know, it was good if you're fighting consistently, you know, you're there and you leave, but it's not one of those places you need to be all year round, you know what I mean? Right. Living in a gym, it was like boarding school, but boxing, you know what I mean? So yeah. uh, now I'm in Philly, I train with Brad Man Edwards, and uh, it was a great camp, you know, so I'm looking forward to just healing up these next couple of days and, and going to fight fully loaded. Mm, definitely. Um, what, what made you make the switch? No particular reason, you just wanted to... Uh, the switch happened mainly because, you know, 
uh, a lot of it just came down to just being able to have my own time one on one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, Coach Calvin, man, he's one of the best people I ever met. You know, in regards to, you know, if he can help kids, he's gonna help them. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. sometimes, you know, I can't fault him for it because it's like that's who he is. You know, he wants yeah. to help kids. He wants to give back mm-hmm. to the community. But at the same time, you know, if you got ten pros and then you helping kids, there's only so much time that you can really give certain guys. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So um, for me, it just made sense because when COVID hit, all the gyms was getting shut down. Right. So I would have been, I would have been asked out if I ain't have no, if I ain't have no way to go. So me going to Miami and living in the gym for a year, it kind of, you know, it benefited me in a sense. Yeah, definitely. Now I know you're in, uh, you're in uh, fight mode. It's fight week. You're about three to four days out. Um, you headlining this card in New York. I think it's a Lou Debella card, right? Or oh, he's the promoter. But it's yeah, I, be- I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Streaming the fight, so it's a, a streaming app. So if anybody want to see the fight, obviously come live to the. Um, event. What's the, where's the venue at in New York? Hammerstein Ballroom. I actually think Michael Hunter fighting Jerry Forrest is the headline now. I think oh, really? that's the last fight. Yeah, I think that fight got switched because Jerry Michael Hunt, Jerry Michael Hunter couldn't get an opponent, so Jerry Forrest stepped in, and uh, he 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 got the fight. Oh, I thought Joe Jones was fighting Jerry. Okay, all right, that's something new. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, Joe Jones is fighting somebody else now. Okay, so it is. It is up there. Okay, so you the uh the I guess the co-main, so to speak. Yeah, I'm probably the co-main event. Yeah. All right, all right. Um, I tend to forget that you're six six foot six. <laughs> yeah, I'm tall. <laughs> yeah. I forget you're that tall. Your opponent George, he's about. You know, six foot even. Um, obviously you're gonna be the bigger man coming in. Oh, uh, you're basically you're ranked right there. You're almost damn near in the top ten from what uh Box Rex says. I think it has you ranked thirteen in the world. Um, uh, what does this fight with George Arias, you know, as far as defeating him, what does this do for your career? Uh I think it does I think it does a little something for me, you know, just it gives me a nice name. It gives me a nice record on my on my resume. And I think it just you know, a little confidence booster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's hard to say. It's hard to say because I'm so like you know, I'm not really high, I'm not really low. I'm not really high, yeah. I'm not really low when it comes to it. You know, I just wanna put on you know, leave it all in the ring. You know what I'm saying? I I just yeah. wanna win. You know, that's for me. You know, I just love to win more than anything. So you know, for me, that's really my focus, you know, like all the other stuff, if I can get the knockout with it, that's a plus, you know, but yeah. I just want to win. And that's my mindset, just to, you know, do whatever I got to do to to get the dub, you know, yeah. and uh, I'm sure he's feeling like that. But I think if I look at it from just boxing, you know, you know, he can move. He got other options, you know, he can go bridge away, he can go to cruise away. You know, he yeah. has so many more options than I do. So for me, I think there's a little bit more of a I just I I, I just need to get the up. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. he like I say, he has more options, you know, with all yeah. these weight classes coming in that he can join, you know. So yeah. um I just wanna be smart, be big and make sure I you know, put my weight on him, just do what I gotta do. Right. Is this uh one of the biggest fights of your career? one of the biggest stages or what do you think uh i don't know you know i fought in vegas i fought in canada i fought in england i guess it's one of my biggest fights you know i think i win i get to still hold on to you know moving on you know what i mean um yeah but i don't like i said i'm just you know i don't look at it like it's really any pressure on me because like it's just it's just a fight you know what I mean? It's boxing. It's a fight. It's just fight, and I move on. You know, like yeah. as I do my best, and as long as I, you know, I'm focused, I can beat anybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and I know I've, I know I've had a great camp. I know that I'm, I'm feeling good, and I'll be ready. Definitely. This is um pretty much um uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's a heavyweight card. I mean, you got a. Uh, 
but yeah, one female on there, um, Hannah Gables, I believe she's fighting on the card against uh, Danielle Perkins. But it's pretty much a heavyweight card. You got you from uh, obviously from Baltimore. You got um, Tommy uh, Morrison's son, uh, Trey Lippy Morrison. He's taking on uh, Upper Marlboro's Merlin's uh, Mike Balligan. And obviously, Jerry Forrest from Virginia taking on uh, Michael Hunter. Um, you know, are you, you know, obviously, you got to focus on your fight, but are you, uh, you know, hoping that, you know, the local guys, you know, get the W as well? And, you know, would you, you know, be interested in, you know, fighting one of the local guys or, you know, are you going after the bigger fish or what do you think? Uh, you know, I just hope everybody just comes out to fight healthy, really, you know, just puts on, does what they got to do. I don't really know. I haven't really shared the ring with anybody outside of, um, uh, Michael Hunter. And I know Jerry Ford a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, uh, Milo Gunn really, you know, but I've seen all of them fight, you know, I've seen everybody fight before. I just, I just rather just everybody just, you know, come into the fight, do what they got to do and leave healthy. You know, I'm not. I'm not really looking forward to like down the line or anything, you know what I mean? I just want to handle what I got to handle, get in the ring, you know, stay, you know, do what I got to do and, you know, move on from there. Just be smart and move on from there. I'm not, I'm not really in like, you know, who wins if I can fight them. Cause boxing is a crazy sport. You never know, you know, guys, guys mm -hmm. get opportunities with 10 losses, you know, and, and they can become millionaires. So it's like, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't stress me out or anything like that. I just want to just focus on what I got to do. Right. You signed to anybody at this point? Huh? You signed to anybody at this point? Yeah, I'm still signed with main event. I'm still signed with my promoter. Uh, okay. The main events, Kathy Duva. Uh, yeah, I'm still with them. Yeah. Okay. All right. So how did this come about as far as you, you know, getting on this trailer thing? Uh, I heard about it for a while, you know, it was a lot of different things that was going on. They was talking about show box for a little bit, mm -hmm. but you know, boxing, like I said, boxing is just like, especially in America, it's, it's kind of like, it's crazy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is really, you know, if, if it's just like the protection factor or the fear factor, but if you go over to the UK, man, you see, you see guys with five losses that still packing out stadiums. And it's yeah. like, it's like, yo, of course they're going to fight. They're going, of course they'll <laughs> fight this guy this and this guy and that guy because they're going to make a million dollars. They don't, they don't care. Yeah. You know, like they, they're looked at like professional athletes here. We're looked at more like, I don't know. We're not looked at really like professional athletes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. you, you can't look a person in the eye. It's crazy because boxing, you can't look a person in the eye. You know, where they feel you can't until you got a certain amount of money in your bank. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? It is yeah. that's just how it is, you know, especially mm -hmm. for minority fighters. So it's like, I don't know. I just stay in my lane. I just do what I got to do, and I just move on, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I noticed that on the last, you know, club show they had in the area, um, you know, if fans don't, you know, see who you're fighting, they mm -hmm. won't buy a ticket. So it's like they want to know like well, who you fighting before i buy a ticket and it's like okay you got you know fans in the uk they'll just buy a ticket you know off the break because they support boxing yeah. like that but you know guys and you know i'm not going to just send the dmv early but probably just in the america period they want to know who you fighting and you know it's just it's, it's just a lot of crazy stuff going on, like you know with that that i'm not they want to know fan. who you fight they, they, they want to know who you fight a lot of people ask me sometimes they want to know who i'm fighting sometimes and it's like you don't even watch boxing. So it was like, that's why I don't really like do a lot of the whole answering a bunch of questions. Cause I, yeah. you're like, y'all, I know if you watch it or not, you know what I'm saying? I know if you follow it. So it's like, that's why yeah. I don't even get into stuff on Facebook. Cause I know like a person probably don't even know what they're talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just, All right. So you're a few days out. You st I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I said you're a few days out. Um, are you you still in Philly or are you making way up to uh New York? Yeah, we leave for New York tomorrow. Okay. All right. Will yeah. will they do any type of uh, pre pre press conference before the fight or anything? Uh, I'm not sure. They probably give us an itinerary tomorrow. I'm sure they will. Okay. 
I'm sure, okay. I'm sure they might make us do a little something. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. I can see them doing it. All right, so we're about to wrap things up. Are you looking to uh, get a knockout against your opponent, or are you just looking just to, you know, I can't say you rusty because you, you fought a few months ago, so you're really not rusty. Yeah, I'm not really that rusty anymore. I, I was rusty that fight because that eight months was crazy. But I'm not <laughs> as rusty. As I, I'm not as rusty as I was. I feel a lot better. But if I can get it, I'm going to try to get it. If if I can't, if he's tough and he can take some punches, it is what it is. But we're going to see. You know, I'm going to try. Uh, no doubt. You guys heard it from some undefeated heavyweight catches, Cheney, 21-0. Heavy punch is six foot six. There's the poster right there. If you guys want to see the fight, you guys can go to uh, trillerfightclub.com or download the Fight TV app. You guys can watch the fight. They all go to the fight live in New York City to watch Cassius Cheney put on the show against other undefeated George Arias from the Dominican Republic. Cassius, appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. No doubt. All right, Pete. All right, peace. peace.